This is how we can control an LED using Arduino and our mobile phone. Want to know how to create a custom mobile app using MIT App Inventor and how to interface Arduino with the app? Let's dive into it. Here's what we will need for this project. An Arduino Uno, an HC05 Bluetooth module, a breadboard, a 220 ohm resistor, an LED, some jumper wires. Let's start by setting up the connections. First of all, take the Arduino board and breadboard. Now insert the Bluetooth module in the breadboard as shown. Connect the GND and VCC pins of the HC5 module to the GND and 5 board pins on the Arduino. Next, connect the TXD pin of the HC5 to the Arduino's RX pin and RXD pin of the HC5 to the Arduino's TX pin. Then insert the LED on the breadboard. Connect the longer pin that is anode to digital pin 13 of the Arduino using 220 ohm resistor. The shorter leg goes to GND. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. First we declare a variable incoming underscore value to store the data received from the Bluetooth module. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication with the HC5 at a baud rate of 9600 and set pin 13 as an output. In the loop function, we check if any data is available from the Bluetooth module. If we receive the character 1, the LED lights up. If we receive 0, the LED turns off. And that's it. Now before uploading the code, make sure to remove the TX and RX pin from the Arduino. Then connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now click on the upload button. Alright, now connect the TX and RX pins against as connected earlier. Here our Arduino is ready to communicate with the Bluetooth module. Next, we will create a mobile app using MIT App Inventor to control the LED. Open your browser and type MIT App Inventor in the search bar. Click on appinventor.mit.edu. Click on create apps. If prompted, Sign in with your Google account and accept the terms and services. You will see a welcome interface. Click continue. Close any tutorial pops if you want. Click new project to start a new app. Name your project like Bluetooth. Click OK to create the project. Now let's design the app. The main screen setup. Adjust phone size and device type that is Android or iOS if needed. Here we have some features like user interface, layout, media, drawing and animation and many more. Go to the user interface section, drag a list picker component onto the screen. This will be used to list and select available Bluetooth devices. Set its width to field parent in the properties section. Change its text to LED Bluetooth. Go to the layout section and drag a horizontal alignment component onto the screen. Set its width to field parent. Go to the user interface section and drag two button components into the horizontal arrangement. Set their width to field parent and update their text to on and off. Go to the connectivity section and drag a Bluetooth client component onto the workspace. This is a non-visible component, so leave it outside the main screen. Now we have to do coding for this app. So we will add logic in the block section. The blocks are used to visually program the app's functionality. They ensure smooth communication between the app, Bluetooth module and Arduino. Click on list picker 1 and drag the blocks before picking and after picking into the workspace. List picker blocks help in listing and connecting to Bluetooth devices. For before picking. Drag the block set list picker 1 dot elements 2. Then attach the block Bluetooth client 1 dot addresses and names to it. For after picking, drag the block set list picker 1 dot selection 2. Attach list picker 1 dot selection to it. Drag the block call Bluetooth client 1 dot connect address. Attach list picker 1 dot selection to this block. Drag the block set list picker 1 dot text to. Attach an empty text block with the text connected. So the coding required for this LED Bluetooth component is done. 
Now coming to button blocks. Button blocks send commands to the Arduino. Drag when button 1 dot click and when button 2 dot click. Blocks for the on and off buttons respectively. For button 1 that is for on, drag the block call bluetooth client 1 dot send text. Attach an empty text block with the value 1. For button 2 that is for off, drag the block call bluetooth client 1 dot send text. Attach an empty text block with the value 0. Once the blocks are ready, connect your phone or emulator to test the app. To test the app on your smartphone, you will need the MIT AI2 companion app. Here's how to do it. Go to the Play Store on Android or App Store on iOS and search for MIT AI2 companion and download and install the app. On the MIT App Inventor workspace, click on the Connect tab at the top and select AI companion. You will see a QR code displayed on your screen. Open the MIT AI2 Companion app on your phone, tap scan QR code and scan the code shown on your computer. Your app will now load on your phone and you can test it in real time. If you want to save the app and use it independently on your phone, follow these steps. Click on the build tab in the MIT App Inventor workspace and select app, provide QR code for .apk. A QR code will appear on your screen. Use your phone to scan this code to download the .apk file. Once downloaded, install the app on your phone. You might need to enable install from unknown sources in your phone setting. After installation, you can open your Bluetooth app anytime without needing a connection to MIT App Inventor. Let's see our project in action. Power the Arduino. You will see the LED on the Bluetooth module start blinking, indicating it is ready to pair. Next, open the Bluetooth setting on your smartphone and scan for new devices. Look for a device name HC05 or HC06 and select it to pair. If prompted for a password, enter 1234 or 40. Once paired, your smartphone will remember this connection, making it easy to reconnect in the future. Now open a MIT app on your smartphone. You can also download the app from the link given in the description below. In the app, connect to the HC5 module. The app should indicate a successful connection with the app connected. Let's test the circuit. When I press on button on the app, the LED lights up and when I press off button, the LED turns off. Is not it cool? I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.